Hello, every you, but a two, but a buddy. Well, I promised some more raw, idiotic footage of random games, and this is one of them. A few days ago, one of my friends gifted me a copy of this game called Monaco. What's yours is mine. And it's an indie game developed by, what's it called, Pocket Watch Games. Um, also, it's a kind of like a stealth action type of game. Um, it's a 2D top-down game. Um, we sometimes call them side-scrolling games, but this scrolls vertically and horizontally, depending on how big the level is, so we'll just call it a top-down game. The friend that gifted it to me also plays this a lot, and we are going to play some multiplayer um, in the next few days, but I thought I would start with the single-player campaign and just introduce you to the game mechanics. So why don't we just hop right into the controls to start out with. I'll show you the help and options screen. Um, you know, this is where you change all of your graphic settings. I decided to stick with uh, 1080p because uh, the anything higher is a awkward, unusual um, resolution. I don't know um, if... I'm even set up for that. Um, let's see, let's go into the controls. Yeah, the controls are quite basic. Um, you can actually play multiplayer on one keyboard. Two players, or in other words, four hands on one keyboard. Uh, here's the leaderboards because it, there's a big multiplayer component to this. And I, okay, no achievements, I guess. Um, there's also an interesting zombie mode. Now watch this. <laughs> Zonico. And of course, if you switch back to Monaco again, uh, you get different soundtrack. See? Check that out. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we might try uh, the zombie mode later on, but I want to get a few videos in of, um, you know, the single player and multiplayer version of the, the standard game and, the, you know, the, the single player campaign. All right, so you have at your disposal a team of eight different characters. Uh, the first character that you generally begin with in the single-player campaign is the locksmith. Uh, I'm just kind of scrolling around showing you what's available. Um, this is what you would actually start with, uh, you know, that first story called The Prison Break. Um, I actually unlocked a few already because I was playing ahead, but um, why don't we just start with the very first mission? which is what you get when you start the game. This is the locksmith's story. The locksmith is a character that can open locks and chests much faster than the rest of the gang. So let's do it. We're playing offline just to show you how the game works, okay? And you can pick your different um, characters, but we're gonna stick with the locksmith. Let's just run through the characters really quick. So this locksmith, just like I said, he picks locks really fast. Uh, the lookout can detect enemies when you're sneaking. Uh, the pickpocket has this monkey that walks around and collects loot in your vicinity. The cleaner uses chloroform to uh, knock out enemies if you sneak up from behind. Uh, yeah, and those are the only four that are available in this particular mission. So let's stick with the locksmith. Okay, it, you know, it's just a little story. Y you can pause if you want to read this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the reason the other three are blacked out here are because uh, I don't have any other... Uh, uh, people in the multiplayer game. Yeah, la la la. Okay. <laughs> and he better not make a sound. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, so here's our objective. We have to escape from prison while the storm is uh, going on. Right? I might have to turn that music down. I do like the music. It's kind of cool that it's all like a electric piano. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay, here is the game. So, you know, it's the WASD uh, movement keys. That's quite typical. Um, you'll notice little uh, clocks for almost everything you do in the game. It kind of gives you an idea of how long it's going to take to do something. Look, I can pee into the toilet, I think. Yeah, look, I'm pissing. There, that felt good. Okay, there's nothing in there. Uh, there's a mouse. You have to collect these little gold coins, and if you hit the control button, you can see in the upper left how many are left in this particular level. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
And yeah, here we go into the next area. Ooh, watch out for guards. You can see how the line of sight changes as I walk around. Uh, line of sight is very important in this game, obviously. See? Um, it calculates it real time. It's kind of cool. Uh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't happen unless you're right in front of them. So line of sight is very important about everything in the game. Any kind of interaction depends on your line of sight. Okay, so we're still in the uh, like the prison area. Uh, these are prisoners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we've no, we still got two coins left to go. And when you've collected all the coins, look in the upper left. See. It flashes and shows that you've gotten all the coins. So let's go into the tunnels now. And of course you get a clock for that too. And you have to be careful when you're escaping somewhere. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because it takes time to escape or to climb something or to go downstairs. Now what's this? This is interesting. Oh, I think it's the electrical box. Yep. Coin. Now it takes them a little while to figure out how to turn the power back on, so we're going to climb this ladder, and of course it takes us through a little duct into another area. Okay, it turns out there's nothing else to do down here, so I'm going to have to turn that down. Sorry. It's nice music, we just have to turn it down, that's all. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing else to do down there, so let's uh, just escape to the street level. Let's make sure... There it is. We got all the gold in this particular level. And now we're escaping to the street level. There we are. All right, so it, it does get a lot more interesting. This is just a tutorial. That's why it's a little you know, boring at first. Uh, look at this. You can hide in a tree. And of course it takes time to kind of dig yourself into the tree. And there's a, I know there's a guard in here somewhere, yeah. We kind of have to follow that guard, so... Ooh, ooh. Okay, good. He doesn't know we're here. I'm sneaking now, you see that? I'm using the right mouse button to sneak, so I don't make any noise. And see, I also don't create any footprints when I'm sneaking. But when I'm not sneaking, they can pick up my footprints and track me. So there's a lot of stealth in the game. There's all sorts of interesting weapons too. We haven't even seen any weapons yet. Um, you know, there's explosives. Uh-oh, uh -oh. he knows I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Muttering in a strange language. Uh, I actually don't know what language that is. Um, and this was developed in the US, I think. I don't know why it got this unusual language. Also, when I hit control, it shows how much health I have. The inner ring is my health and the outer ring is how many um, well I'll explain that later how many coins I have or credits I have toward my next weapon or my next bit of ammo okay so we go this what? way huh? no it was nothing see I can hide in here and then he won't know I'm here watch this <laughs> see Duh. there that was easy and now I'm gonna cut the power again <laughs> there and how do I get the hell out of here? And did I get all the... No, street level. There's still three more to go. Okay. Well, it's because we're outside now. Yeah. And there's our escape. And we collected all of the gold. And we cleaned all levels out. So let's escape in the van, which takes time too. There you go. Ta -da. That's it. So there's the first level. It gets much more interesting, believe me. This is just to kind of get you uh, familiar with the controls. Uh, because... Uh, using weapons is a little bit more difficult. You have to uh, use the mouse as you're running around, too. Alright, so, hmm, should we go into a hijack at the hairpin? Or should we do the sound of violence? Ooh. It's the pickpocket story. Yeah, we could actually start the pickpocket story, too. Yeah, we might as well. Okay, just a second. Well, actually, we'll continue with the locksmith story, because you're not actually supposed to unlock this until you've gone through the second one, which is hijack at the hairpin. So, let's start this. Uh, it might as well be the locksmith again. There's still... yeah, because this is the locksmith's story. Okay, we need passports, la la la, money, and friends. Aha! <laughs> uh, uh -huh. 
there's someone we can rescue and that will unlock a character because you saw we only have four characters right now to choose from yeah it's the mole he can chop through walls which is fun yeah apparently he's connected Interpol is transferring him to Clairvaux by bus if we can hijack that prison transport we should have all the friends we ever need good We'll hijack the prison transport. There it is. Rescue him from the hijacked prison transport. Yep, we're ready. All right, let's do it. So we're also going to learn how to grab ammo. Okay, here's our character. Oh, there we are. All right, what do we got here? So if you... This actually is the weapon itself. So we just picked up a weapon, but we don't have... Oh, yes, we do have one uh, ammo. Uh, see that little gun at the top that shows that I have one ammo. Now you can see that I can walk around and aim in different directions. This is the mouse I'm using. Um, but you have to target your enemies. You can't just shoot in a general direction. Well, actually, I think you might be able to with this shotgun. Okay. Ding! zing a ling, -a -ling. There we are. And there's a guard over here. Huh? Huh? Uh, do I, I even need to be... Oh, go to hell. Okay, let's blow him up. <laughs> uh, okay, and what do we got? Yeah, we have full health, so we're okay. Uh, let's go around and collect loot. If we had the, if we were the pickpocket, we have that monkey that walks around and does that for us, so we don't have to waste all of our time. There, that was all their, all the gold in this area. So, if we were injured, we could uh, use the station right here. See. Skellington. Then you can move the skeletons around. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it over with. The levels load very quickly. You know, obviously, because there's not much to load. It's just a 2D game. Okay, now, what do we got? We have... Yeah, see, so you have to steal 10 coins to get another round of ammo. There, see, so now I've got four rounds of ammo. Wow. Okay, so I can do all kinds of good things with the... Uh, I think this is the same shotgun, yeah. Give it up. Uh, and with the shotgun, if you shoot... If you get them all lined up... <clears throat> what do you think of that? What? See, I could have lined those guys up, and then I would have gotten them with one shot. Okay, well, there's... Okay, let's zoom over here. Anything fun? Here, let's open up. Yeah, so we got another one. Yeah, there you go. I think we're going to... Pretty soon we're going to get more... There, let's regenerate our health a little bit. Ooh, did you see those footprints? Yeah, see? Um, you don't actually see the guards if you're out of the line of sight, but when they make a sound, they leave a footprint momentarily. Oh, did you see that? He's reviving the guard. Yeah, they can, the guards can revive each other, which sucks. Uh, they can decalcify the skeletons. Huh? Okay, let's go through this door. I'm a locksmith, remember, so I can open locks very quickly. Um, there's another health station if I need it. Uh, are they coming? Oh yeah, they're what? coming. Huh? She did? There's the there's the passenger train. That's not the one huh? we're looking for, but there's another health station if I need it. That's good to know. Where is he? Ooh. Whoa! Ah! Well? Oh, I should have lined him up. Oh! Right? Wait! Right. <laughs> she did? I don't know. Maybe Polish. I can't tell. I can't tell what language that is. Maybe you can tell me. Give it up. Okay. Mm, or Czech, maybe. Yeah, I think that was on the passenger train. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. Ouch. Bash me, idiot. Ow! Okay, we gotta be more careful. Here, let's let's get these all lined up. Let's get these guys lined up. Yeah, come on. Come into the corridor. Oh, they lost my trail. Well, too, too bad for you guys. Uh, there is something over there, so I do have to grab it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there. And how many do we have left? We've got six left. Wow. Hey, baby. Okay, and there's what? six, five, four, three, two. There, we got them all. Oh, up. shut up. You're gonna give me away. Oh! 
There's a health station. Let's let's get it. Oh shoot. Okay. Boom. <laughs> and there's still one. Okay, we now let's escape to the shore. Oh, oi! Too late. And now we're at the shore. And there's the mole that we are supposed to rescue. All right, we got him. And. And we actually became the mole, so watch what we can do. So, uh, you just put yourself up against a wall, like this. See? Boom! And... That's how you do it. Uh, there's a bird. Now we have to break through these corals, or whatever you call them. Crystals. Let's see, is there anything in here? No, no, that's just a... Just a starfish. Okay, and boom, there. And I think we got everything there is to get here. Oh no, there's ten more. Okay, let's break through the wall. And how many? We have four rounds of ammo. Good. And that's it. There, we cleaned out the area. Now we escape in the boat, and that's it. Well, I think that's enough single player for now, even though you've only seen one of the four characters. Actually, eight characters, because you get to unlock more and more as the game progresses. But we'll jump right into multiplayer next time. Alright, so if you like this, you can click the like button and add a comment. That really helps me out. Uh, subscribe to my channel, don't forget to do that. And bookmark my channel, and then come back every day, because I upload almost every day. And you follow me on Twitter, and you'll get an alert whenever I upload something. Alright, we will see you next time in... Monaco. Thanks for watching.